Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode on the Vanilla Time Server. And what we're going to be doing today is building a couple farms, moving these people here into their own little buildings over near the iron farm. So we've got this area to work in. Now, I have did some work. I have did. I have done some work. I added this little corner here. I did some flowers and leaves and grass and bamboo. So basically, this cuts off this area here with this wall. And all I got now is this teeny space here, then it's all finished. So if I get my elytra, uh, try to put it on my pants, it doesn't work. Don't know why. It's so strange. But yeah, I'm lagging a little bit and it's my PC. It's amazing, honestly. And there's an enderman grief on my base again. Fight! Oh, chicken. And basically over here, uh, once it takes forever to come over here, it's done. So I'll take a tour over there. I added these waterfalls here and barriers over here just to cut it off. And I've just sort of dug this down to bedrock and added black glass on top. So it's like a, a mist effect. And around the outskirts is black wool. So back here is... I don't know what you would call it, like automatic doors. So if they were to close for some reason, it would connect properly like a jigsaw. And uh, once you come in here, this is called an unloading bay. And this is where all the farms materials come through. Slime, weeping vines, uh, twisting vines, which is hidden behind here. So this is the loading bay area with black glass, all bits of stone removed as well. And Back here, I'm just going to leave for the longest time, then go through and add loads of uh, branches and leaves. And I'm thinking of making this water go back here, if I'm stuck, all the way back here. So be sure to tell me what you think of it. And uh, basically, once all this is finished, this quarter is finished, so that I can focus on this area and start filling the gaps. This is probably going to be some sort of tree, garden area, or pond. Uh, and I really want to build a fern farm, which Ifo made on his Let's Play, and then B double O copied that same design over to Hermitcraft. And I will be building with ferns a lot, so maybe it could fit in this area, or I could just put it in this area and make it face this bit here. Which seems better than put it there, and I could just extend that garden or add a pond since this used to be a lava lake. There's not much obsidian here. This side here, no idea. I think I might just half the creeper farm over and just make it flat or just add another creeper farm over. So it's another 10 layers. I'm not too sure. Um, so basically, over here, I'm going to add a what do you call it? Uh, never walk far, and it's just going to be super simple, I think. Uh, yeah, it's going to be super simple. A row of leaves is going to go here, so it's like a flower bed, and maybe the same over here. But I'm going to transfer all these villages over to the, what's it going to call it, the iron farm area, and then we can focus on this area. Transferred all the villages. Now I'm just going to tear this down, which will just take my two seconds anyways then i'm going to start laying out where i want the the soul sand and the never water to be i'm not too sure if i want it to be automatic yet but i might have a couple layers just so i can trade it with a what's it called a cleric yeah that's the one so i'm thinking something like this i'm just going to eat real quick uh it, would, it fits nicely in this area here. Um, what we can do is add a row of polished die right here and here. So this is the center, so it's eight blocks so the water can travel. And we'll have a wall here and a back wall here where the minecarts go back and forth. 
so it's like a collection system. Um, to make it a second layer, do we need to? Probably not. Uh, I'm not really good with these farms. I don't know how to build them. And yeah, I don't know if this would work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's like 40 blocks, so it's 80 blocks, so it's... Uh, so you can get three max from a uh, piece of warts, I think. So 80 times three. That's the output, maybe an hour. Who knows? Uh, so we'll come here. We'll probably have like a collection system here. Probably just a chest and hop was going into it, really. And we'll probably build this up here on this side, and it will close this area off here, which is cool. I did this row at the back so that it's lighting at the back as well. I just need to figure out these roads. Um, I'm probably just going to get rid of what's on the outside, uh, but I don't know yet. So basically, it's going to look like this. Uh, maybe push it back as well or do something later on with it so it's nice and sleek and then there's going to be uh what's this called snow it's going to be blocked off here and here 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 and if i've got a bucket of water i'll show you in just a second also my chests are sorted out and that's thanks to weeping rabbit she Basically, it took two days out of her own time to organize all my chests. Soon they'll go to a house somewhere. I just don't want them there, and they will not fit in that sort up there. So I'll get the bucket of water. Now let's test it. So you come over here. Oh, there's two blocks. And then you put it here. It should stop here. Yep. So if we have a dispenser here and some redstone, maybe that will work. Uh, but I don't know what to do uh, with this design. I'm probably going to toy around with it to see what I can come up with. But this area is definitely going to be used for this. If not, it's probably a giant lake or giant pond and have it over there, which I could obviously stack it up and use redstone. Or try and find a tutorial online and just replicate it over. But right now, I'm going to go on my single player world and show you where or what I'm going to build in the next couple of videos. So this right here is a suburban mansion, basically. And I've copied it block by block from a tutorial on YouTube, which I'll put his link down below. And um, Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate this house over to vanilla time and same inside as well or it's all furnished but what i'm going to do is change the furniture and add my own furniture it's really really nice inside he did a really good job making this tutorial and he's got a bunch of suburban houses uh, tutorials that you can follow so i, I believe he did it on xbox and uh, it took me over seven hours to build this uh, I just did it over the span of seven days, basically. So I didn't get burnt out building it or confused or stressed. So basically, this is the mansion. It's quite big. So this is the front door. And you've got two garden patches here and a road going to the garage and back out again. And it's got a little basketball hoop right there. You come to the back side of the house. You get this little garden. And this is the custom tree I built uh, in his tutorial he just grew a lodge tree so it's like oh, i just make a custom one made a custom one i'm really happy with this custom tree not gonna lie and uh, this is a trampoline really good design by him and this is sort of like a patio area with a barbecue which i've added smokers he had furnaces so just little tweaks now and then and once you go back around the other side there's hardly nothing so this is the I'll go down there. I'll go around the front side, so I'll take you around the house. There's, I believe, four bedroom, uh, bedrooms in this house and four bathrooms, if I'm not mistaken. So this is sort of the living area. And you sort of just sit here, watch the front door to see if someone's going to burgle your house. There's no TV because you can't afford it. 
you know how it is, you know, that council estate budget one. And we come over here and this is the kitchen. Really nice. We've got this uh, ventilation system here with a oven. And we, this is supposed to be a fridge. I'm probably just going to remove this in the new house and change it out. So this is the sink. We've got some drawers here. We've got some cupboards up there. Um, we come to here and it's a seating area. We've got some drinks, you know, some uh, book fizz. We're going to get drunk off that. We come through here and this is where you come to the garage. So the garage is right here, which I'm going to build a Jeep in vanilla time. Come through here and this is the bathroom you built. And these are supposed to be towels, which I'm probably going to design. In his video, he didn't add water because... Uh, an Xbox, the vision he did it. You couldn't waterlog things, but I waterlogged this and it looks pretty cool. And that's like a what do you call that? Like a shower head, basically. Wish that was white. I wish you could have an iron trap uh, tripwire hook. That would look cool. The lamps, you know, shelving units. I didn't didn't use smooth uh smooth quartz there. There should have. And basically, you come through here, and this is the first bedroom. We've got a little desk, computer, play Minecraft, of course. Little lamps, this master bed. It's not really a master bed, it's just a double bed. And that's basically it for the first floor. Oh, actually, you come out here, and we've got a little drinking table here. There's lights under here, so hidden lighting. And uh, basically, you come out here, you have a barbecue, come back in, play beer pong or whatever you want to play. So this is the upstairs. So you just walk up, nice little banister area. Uh, you come to this little desk, flowers, and a chest unit here. Come into one of the first master bedrooms. You've got this queen-size bed with a big flat-screen TV with Atmos speakers right here. So we can... Uh, Blast some music. Uh, we've got a little Minecraft set up here, you know, top notch RTX 2080 Ti. You know how it is. Or, I don't know what you would call this, like, unit? I don't know. I've got a little unit up there, shelving unit. Come through here, and this is the first of many bathrooms. Now, once you look at this, it's incredible. I love it to bits. But this is going to be very, very heavy and quartz on vanilla time which i'll need to go mining for which is going to be a pain but even under here there's lighting so it's all lit up which is great you don't really see any lighting it's just integrated real well into the ceiling as well so you come around here that's the upstairs to so the third floor so you know, this is sort of like a laundry area so this is like a dryer or washing machine that, what, what I just said there is from Joella. I'll try and get a little clip. Probably not, but I'll send the link down below. And this is sort of like laundry getting dried. Then we come here, and this is um, uh, what would you call it? Another master bedroom. We've got two seats here. Just, you know, wait until the corona passes by. And we've got some shelving units. We've got some books to read, some Harry Potter. You know how it is. And another comfy bed with a small bathroom. So this would say it was like a guest room. And you have this nice little bathroom here with a, a bath here with a, a, a what do you call them? A, a tap. It's a tap. It's a tap. Yeah. So we've got a tap. We've got a sink. We've got a toilet to take a poo. You know, you come back up here. We go up to the final bedroom which is the, the best of the best. So you come up here, and this is like one of the biggest bedrooms ever. We've got a, a giant fireplace. No idea why we've got a fireplace, but we do, because we can. And we will. Um, we've got this little uh, shelving unit with some chess units, some books to read, and this is supposed to be a wardrobe. And then you come along here, and this is another bathroom, which is very... Very, 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 very big. That's what she said. It's got a high roof. It's got, it, it's got a window up here. Like, you just stand in the toilet just to have a look who's outside. I don't know why that's there. Probably just make it larger and vanilla time. Who knows? But that's it for the 
the the tour basically and this is what i'm going to build in vanilla time the the wallpapers are so like nice uh how we used it is just incredible parts of it is different colors it's all uniform it, it's just really nice how he built this and i'll be building more of his tutorials and putting them in sort of the town area that i'm going to start building then after that i'm going to build my own from using all his builds i'm just going to create bits by i'm going to take bits by his videos and push it together basically i've just butchered everything i was going to say there but yeah that's where that's what i'm going to build i'm going to show you where i'm going to build it now so this is the area i'm going to build it right close to my desert which over there is my trading hall so i'm gonna have a path coming through here uh, i'm not too sure if i want it on this flat piece of land or uh absolutely flatten this plains biome or forest here which if i am planning to expand uh, my base or my modern area uh i probably have to this is the pillage outpost. I'm probably going to make, it, make a, a small raid farm from. And Dynamic's already made one. So I don't know what we want to do with that. Dynamic lives close by to us. So he can take anything of ours. And I'm sure we can do the same with him if I ask him. So yeah, this is the area we're going to build it. I'm going to start building it here. So this right here is going to be the area I'm going to build it. And I'm just floating across the ground. So I'm just going to light this area up real quick and it's very heavy in bricks granite uh white concrete dark oak uh white concrete if i haven't said that already and uh spruce logs so it's it's got loads of different color terracottas which i'm going to have a mining session over at the the uh public mesa and i'm going to get a few shulker boxes of hardened clay which I'm just going to change over to different colors. We've got a um, flower forest farm, flower farm at Dynamics Place. He's got three levels, which can give us, gives us uh, all different types of flowers besides the blue orchids, 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 whatever they are, you know, the blue stuff, you know, those ones, yeah. Um, we're just going to get loads of those, going to get full, full double chest of flowers, and also die so we never run out and the same with all different types of concrete powder and concrete as well as the sheep wool which is going to be easy to do so this area here if i can fly hello is going to be our area for the suburban it's quite flat actually it looks real nice from up here and that's going to go here so basically off camera i'm going to start laying it out and doing bits by bit and come back when I've got something new. I'm going to work on the Never Walk farm off camera. Now it'll probably be a couple days before this episode comes out, but yeah, by then you'll see a lot of progress. So I'll see you in a couple days. So it's been a couple of days since I last recorded the clip. And what I've done is flatten out this entire area. It's quite huge. I haven't got Optify no more because uh, Optify hasn't updated. So I'm slowly chipping away at the stone and same with the dirt. And this is the first layer of the house, basically. So the, the blueprint. And I'm just having some connection issues. Been having connection issues all day. It's been kicking me non-stop. But this is the house. It's it's quite huge, not going to lie. And basically, I need 3,000 white concrete, which I've got, and other bits and bobs like quartz. This took me around about 30 minutes to get uh, from the villagers. But yeah, uh, let me show you what it's going to look like when it's all done. Uh, there we are. Uh, let me get out. So... Where the red is, is basically where uh, the path's going to be, so the road. So this one's going to be bricks and granite. The leaves going to come along here, and this is going to be the green terracotta, as you can see. So there's a lot of work to get in, like put into this, but this is where it's going to be facing. And I'm going to have a road come up here. 
going this way and this entire area if i can fly is just going to get flattened and we're just going to have a row of these houses go down here and just have a little uh, city full of them and to make them back to back i think i'm just gonna put a railing up like a fence so if i stop jumping around uh the house ends here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so the the next house will start here so the 12 block glap glap gap will be a, just a gate to get in and out of each of his houses uh gardens should i say so i may just extend because this is green terracotta going in strips that way i may extend the garden up a little bit and have a little walkway to go up and down to the front and back of the garden and it connects the houses together i'm not too sure yet that's what i've got in mind but this is what it's going to look like so the next clip you'll probably see is the facade and basically around the outside finished but the interior will not be started yet so i'll see you soon so the suburban house is finished now uh the most expensive base i've ever built because of the quartz now these are smooth quartz and i mined so much um never quartz and i had a help from a lot of people so 7371 that's quite a lot and uh, i've still got quite a lot left over in those sugar boxes but the next thing i'll probably be working on is the villager trading hall and bartering system because we will get loads of quartz from them eventually so i just need to stockpile those to build the next house so that this is finished so we'll take a look inside there's dogs everywhere and when i flattened this entire land loads of mobs kept spawning so yeah just been killing them dogs been uh taming them there's loads up there there's one that's so angry just no reason probably need some dindons but yeah this entire place is built basically not finished i still need to add a couple slabs here uh change oh no don't need to change that need to change this out for clay but i'll do that next video then insides are finished just not furnished finished but not furnished which means no more no furniture has been added uh bathroom this is a bedroom uh hallway upstairs laundry room bedroom this is the most expensive this brick uh, not brick uh, the stairs i made a mistake i still need to add some buttons here i made a mistake i crafted the stairs and i didn't put it in a stone cutter which i could have got more out of so that's the mistake i made which i'll obviously fix for the next build and i still need to add stairs here but that's it for the house it's all finished um after this video the next video will be adding the furniture and the video after that will be ripping the furniture out and add a new one so where it is going to be i'm going to replace it with the new ones and updated ones so the person who built it uh did a really good job with the interior but i want a, a detailed interior basically so i'll start doing that in the third video so this is just going to be part three of this um but yeah backside's good uh just need to add a lot of more detail so uh last video you saw i showed off the the garden rings i don't like how they look so i'm just going to add a row of flowers going back and forth and it's going to be grass because this is going to be terracotta so you, you can see the difference straight away i just don't like how dirty it looks to be honest i want a clean look and i may add a british flag somewhere around here maybe one right there one right there is this all lined up correctly no maybe a two tall the two by two flag i'm not too sure but yeah that's going to wrap it up for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one see ya. Say